Jaguars officially picked up the fifth-year option on their quarterback, Trevor Lawrence, and their running back, Travis Etienne Jr. Now, they've already had talks at an extension aimed at signing Trevor Lawrence to a long-term deal. They'd like to get that deal done this summer. Obviously, like to keep Etienne as well, and they'll have both players locked in for their fifth-year options thanks to picking that up today. A number of players across the league had their fifth-year options picked up today, including Jalen Waddell and Christian Darrisaw. And the former first-round draft choice, Makai Becton, has reached agreement with the Philadelphia Eagles on a one-year deal worth up to five and a half million dollars so he goes from new york goes down south on the jersey turnpike where he now will be playing for jeff stoutland the eagles offensive line coach and if there's anybody that can get the talent out of becton it would be jeff stoutland the eagles did not get an offensive tackle in this draft so instead they go get becton and he now can be the potential swing tackle for Philadelphia this season, Laura. Yeah, no doubt. The talent is there. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out in Philly. And one of the most glaring Eagles needs was improving the pass defense. They did just that by taking two of the top cornerbacks in the draft with Quinion Mitchell in the first round, Cooper DeGene in the second round. They also added Jalex Hunt along with running back Will Shipley and wide receiver Anaya Smith. Some really nice picks there. Field, what did you make of the Eagles' defensive rebuild, though, at the draft? Yeah, much of the focus here should be on those first two picks. A pair of safety players, pair of defensive back players specifically, Quinion Mitchell and also Cooper DeGene. They need to be desperately in the yeah. secondary. They have two very experienced and talented quarters in Darius Slay and James Bradbury, but the lack of speed showed up at the end of last season. Quinion Mitchell aced the pre-draft process. I was shocked he went 22nd overall. I thought he could go inside the top 16. 37 pass breakups over the past two years. Had four interceptions in a game two seasons ago. Meanwhile, Cooper DeGene, another name that I was surprised fell out of the first round and also lasted as long as he did into the second round. Excellent man-to-man -man coverage player. Has some versatility if the team ever envisioned him at safety. Ran a 4-4-0-40 at his personal pro day after he suffered a leg injury late in his college career, which prevented him from being part of the combine. Springy athlete. Excellent punt return man as well. Versatility, speed, both so essential for Philadelphia. And good business, by the way, as well. They added a mm. bunch of picks in 2025. Now, ideally yeah. for the Eagles, it is Mitchell on the outside start, starting opposite Slane. I think DeGene starting at the nickel inside because then C.J. Gardner Johnson can play safety so yeah. I think that's the ideal situation great draft won't matter unless the defensive line plays better than it mm. did last year yeah. okay two years ago the Super Bowl run 125 TFLs led the NFL last year the difference of 12 months 92 mm. worst in the that's NFL the so Yikes. as much as I agree with babyface of like all the upgrades in the secondary and it was absolutely needed unless Jalen uh, Jordan Davis and Jalen Carter take step forwards and even Nicobe Dean and and uh, a Bryce Huff via that signing, unless those guys get back to what they look like in 2022, impact-wise, that secondary is going to still continue to play at a deficit. I wonder how much of that's like a chicken versus egg theory, though, too, right? Like, New did coordinator. they create more? Yeah, also, all that, that should help as well. But, like, did the secondary being better in 2022 afford more coverage sacks? It's always or connected, did the right? the pass rush in 2022 well, afford more pass breakups by the secondary? And I think, too, yeah. Vic Fangio structurally is always about – Coverage creates pressure yep. rather than pressure pre creates coverage. Yeah, yeah. So to your point, yeah. with better secondary coverage people, that should help some of that pass rush have a, you know, an extra second or two or yeah. tenths of a second or two to get home. They all got to be better. That's yeah, probably a good I mean, way of putting it sure. too, right? After how the way they finished. Unfortunately, last they're starting from the bottom. It will go up. All right.